a secretive online marketplace for drugs, one so perfect that it could make the street corner dealer obsolete. Most people want to get the drugs, but they don't want the social interactions that come with those purchases. And Silk Road takes that out of the equation. In a way, Ross Ulbricht is the American dream. He's an entrepreneur. He saw a new market. He went for it. This is such a fascinating story because it's a 31-year-old who basically creates a billion-dollar illegal drug website. And now he'll spend the rest of his life in prison. I cover cybercrime for a, a technology magazine. I've never heard of such a long sentence right. for something someone did with a computer, essentially. People who commit actual crimes and heinous actual crimes will get lighter sentences than Ross Ulbricht, who got a life right. sentence for running basically a Craigslist website. Which is really a shocking outcome of this. I don't think anyone expected such a harsh sentence. Why and do you say that? The prosecution wasn't even asking for it, were they? That's right. No one, least of all the American government, give a fuck about whether your children are dying of drug overdoses. What I think they care about is new markets, new economies, and new power structures emerging that they don't have control of. That's why young Aaron Schwartz was basically killed by the American government, and that's why Ross Ulbricht is in prison. It is bigger than Ross, and bigger than a website. I think one website is by far less dangerous than the government trampling on our rule of law. Do you think precedent played a key role in this judge's decisions? She actually explicitly said in her statement, this was unprecedented, I'm going to set a precedent. You'd be the first website host ever to be convicted for the actions of the users of the site. Uh, of course there will be an appeal. The bulk of evidence was not allowed to be presented, and evidence that was presented was stricken, and um, so the whole picture wasn't presented. That's not fair. There were significant errors during the course of the trial. In 2012 and 2013, two federal agents were investigating the Silk Road website. Federal prosecutors now say those two agents were actually benefiting from the very site they were trying to bring down, information that is threatening to undermine one of the Department of Justice's most important cases. If how can you trust the evidence coming from these feds who stole the bitcoins? Yeah, that, that evidence should be tainted. Charges against the federal agents who are investigating Silk Road are, quote, strong grounds for appeal. We we're small. We were fighting a big fight and we really need help. If he doesn't get out of this and they're able to get this, it's gonna set a precedent to put everybody in jail for what other people say or do on any platforms, including telecoms. This is the end of internet freedom as we know it.